The Downfall of Scotland's Most Dangerous Crime Gang The downfall of Scotland's most sophisticated crime gang was triggered by a surveillance operation on a Toyota Yaris. The nine men, who have been sentenced to a total of 87 years between them, went to remarkable lengths to conceal a terrifying arsenal of weapons, vast quantities of drugs and large amounts of dirty money. To hide their guns, the gang built hidden compartments in a fleet of vehicles which they kept in heavily fortified lockups. At the same time they used state-of-the-art surveillance equipment in a bid to establish if their network, which imported a million wraps of cocaine a year, had been compromised by the authorities. BBC Scotland can reveal Police Scotland is already working with the US Drug Enforcement Agency, DEA, and the FBI on the next phase of Operation Escalade. It will target the godfathers behind a criminal enterprise that generated more than £100 million a year and stretched from Baileyston to Brazil. At the start of 2017 the ICQ were monitoring several properties and vehicles linked to the gang. But the breakthrough in a year-long undercover operation came about 1800 hours on the 20th of January last year. Two officers were watching a silver Yaris in Church Street, Baileyston, on the eastern outskirts of Glasgow, when they spotted Mark Richardson. Intelligence had linked the Edinburgh-based gangster with the group, but this was a chance encounter that changed everything. Debs H. Superintendent McLean said, it was the tipping point. The Yaris had been part of the surveillance operation, but Richardson's arrest was the moment it switched from a cover to an overt operation. The officers gave chase and he was eventually rugby tackled to the ground. Debs H. Superintendent McLean said, Richardson had the Yaris keys on him. We noticed a fob which did not appear to activate any alarm on the Toyota. The detectives discovered there was a Bluetooth device in the rear cluster light of the car and the fob activated it. When you activated the Bluetooth receiver there was a metal plate in the boot of the Yaris which came up on a hydraulic ram. Within that they found a neoprene holster containing a 9mm Glock 17 handgun. The pistol, which contained Richardson's DNA, was loaded with 15 bullets. The detective said, on a random stop there would have been next to no chance of finding it. The arrest set in motion a chain of events which unraveled a vast criminal network. Debt Siege Superintendent McLean said, we knew they had been Whittingham Drive previously and we walked down a row of lockups. There was a big shiny door with two padlocks and the rest were all wooden doors falling apart. We had a key fob on a key that said Annie and we were in Annie's land. It was a real golden nugget. Inside officers found 11 guns, all neatly packaged and labeled. They included Glock pistols, a Heckler and Koch submachine gun and a M75 hand grenade. The deadly hall also delivered a treasure trove of forensic evidence. Crucially, it led to the discovery of torture victim Robert Allen's DNA on a Beretta which had been used to, to pistol whip him in March 2015. Prosecutor Alex Prentice QC told the High Court in Glasgow, the firepower at the disposal of this group is unprecedented in terms of the history of organized crime in Scotland. Former soldier Martin Fitzsimmons was the gang's main ballistics expert and was jailed in 2008 for supplying stolen army weapons to crime groups, including the Daniel family. Lorry driver David Sell, who abducted Alan after he was unable to pay a £30,000 drug debt, was also a key figure. And BBC Scotland can reveal 50-year-old Sell made trips to Brazil for the gang. There he met face to face with cartels to source high purity cocaine. Back in Scotland the gang invested heavily in cutting edge US anti-surveillance equipment, which enabled them to do technical sweeps of their cars and premises. Ironically they sourced kit, such as listening devices and a machine that detected illegal transmissions, from the same companies that supplied law enforcement and the military. Debt Sage Superintendent McLean said, we had intelligence that they had a high degree of capability and when we were deploying techniques against them we were not seeing the results we expected to see. For example when we were following them we suspected they were using jamming equipment because there wasn't any signals coming from the vehicles when they used phones or any other digital devices. 
Before the case even came to court Debt Sage Superintendent McLean was briefing UK counterparts about the unprecedented challenges his officers encountered. The masterminds behind the Escalade gang and their key lieutenants are believed to divide their time between Spain and Portugal. But the success of their operation relies on sourcing cocaine direct from crime syndicates on the other side of the world. As a result Police Scotland have held regular meetings with the FBI and DEA at the US Embassy in London to discuss the group. We know that some of those convicted had traveled to South America, including Brazil. That has caused us to look to the US DEA to provide support, such as surveillance, on the streets of South America. What they are now doing is taking a lot of their criminal base overseas to try to evade law enforcement. But they should be aware that, working with our international partners, we now have a global reach.